Experiencing charging issues with your Apple TV remote? You're not alone. Many users face problems like the remote not charging at all, draining quickly, or failing to connect even after being plugged in. The good news is that most of these issues can be resolved with simple troubleshooting. First, determine which remote you have. The newer Siri remote uses USB-C, while older models use Lightning, and older aluminum remotes use a replaceable coin battery. Start with the basics. Ensure the charging outlet is working by testing it with another device. A faulty charging cable is a common culprit, so try a different one. Also, inspect the charging port for any dust or debris. A toothpick or soft brush can help clean it out. Be gentle when cleaning to avoid damage. Remember, the Apple TV remote lacks a physical charging indicator, so you'll need to check the charging status within the Apple TV's settings under Remotes and Devices, then Remote. A full charge typically takes about three hours for Siri remotes, so let it charge for at least 30 minutes to see if that resolves the issue. This initial charging period often fixes most connection problems. When basic troubleshooting doesn't resolve your Apple TV remote charging issues, advanced steps can help. First, restart your remote using the correct method for your model. For Siri remotes, press and hold the TV control center button and volume down button simultaneously for five seconds until the Apple TV status light turns off and on again. For older aluminum remotes, simply remove and reinsert the battery to restart the device. Next, restart your Apple TV by unplugging it from the power outlet for at least six seconds, then plugging it back in. Repairing your remote can resolve connectivity issues. Bring the remote within three inches of your Apple TV, then press and hold the back or menu button and volume up button together for five seconds. Remove interference by keeping your Apple TV away from other wireless devices. As a last resort, consider performing a factory reset on your remote. If none of these troubleshooting steps resolve the issue, it's time to contact Apple support. They can help diagnose potential manufacturing defects and may offer service programs or remote replacement. Apple support can provide service programs for defective batteries, especially if you have Apple Care coverage. Common causes they help diagnose include dead batteries, faulty cables, and connection issues.